Hello everybody. So yesterday was Black Friday and I went Black Friday shopping for the first time ever. And there was two things that I noticed. Sorry, I keep touching my face. Oh my gosh. But yeah, there's two things that I noticed about it. So number one, first thing I noticed is there actually wasn't as many sales as I thought there was going to be. Like, I feel like everyone makes it out to be like, oh my gosh, look at all these fucking door busters. Speaking of door busters, I actually heard a woman use the word door buster, like, like in a legit sentence. And I'm like, do people actually say that? But anyways, yeah, there really wasn't that many sales. Like, I feel like the sales that were there weren't really that good. There was a couple sales that were good. Like, I know I saw Payless, everything was 50% off. Like, that's a sale, you know what I mean? Um, but some of the other places that I'm gonna be talking about today, the sales are like, eh, okay, whatever. Like, it seems like a sale they could do at any time. It's like Black Friday, you should, like, really have a sale, you know what I mean? But maybe that's just me. On the flip side, though, the second thing that I noticed is that I, so, personally, I don't really go out just to shop, if that makes sense. Like, I don't go out just, hey, I'm just gonna go spend money, you know? I usually, if I need, if I, like, buy something, like, oh, I need a new pair of shoes, so I just go buy a new pair of shoes, you know? I don't, like, go out, like, just to look around and just shop, you know? So I noticed that when I did go out, like, to the malls and stuff, I had this urge, like, I had to spend all of my money. <laughs> like, I don't know if, like, anybody else has similar experiences when they like go shopping but like I just want to buy everything just because like I can but the problem is I can't actually <laughs> like even today I'm like thinking like oh I, I should have gone to that place I bet they had a good sale and it's like well I don't have I mean so I did some shopping in the malls and I did some online shopping but I'm not going to let myself buy any more things I can't afford it man I just need to like no, I got enough, I got plenty, I got more than I needed, really. I mean, I, technically I don't really need anything, and I think that's the main issue. When you go out shopping, you don't actually have, like, a plan or something that you need. You end up buying things, you're like, fuck it, I'll just buy it just because it's, like, whatever. And, uh, I probably made many mistakes, but it's fine. So I'm just going to jump right into this, bitch. Um, I guess I'll just start... I'll start in the place, like... I'll just go through, like, my experience. I'll start the first place I started and so forth. I think I remember. So I actually had two separate shopping excursions. The first one was, you know, after we eat, we wait a while and then go out, right? Because um, I was with my friend Evelyn and we we ended up going with her brother. I drove. Um, we had to wait till midnight to go because we had to wait for our checks to drop, you know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, the mall by them closes at 1, so we only really had like an hour to shop around. So I ended up only getting um, one thing while I was there, which is at Target. And, Target. And, um, let's see here. It was this dress here. Let me see. I wasn't actually planning on buying anything, ironically, but I got this dress here. It's got the little thing. It's kind of short. It's like a school girl. It's like a school girl moment. Uh, it was only seven dollars, which I was like, okay, sold. Didn't try it on or anything. Probably don't fit, but you know, fuck it. So yeah, that was, that was the only thing that I bought with them. And then yesterday, I worked until five thirty, and then I went to the mall by me afterwards. And it was still pretty busy, and there's still some uh, some deals going on. So the first place I went to, of course, was Sephora. Uh, this is definitely the most expensive. Thing I've ever purchased well I can tell you but it's not but like of the evening this was the most expensive thing um and they ended up giving me a whole bunch of free stuff I'm like okay whatever that's fine uh, so let's just like go through this little thing so I'm a dumbass and started filming this um when my camera is it's dying so I'm gonna get through this as much as, as fast as possible and hopefully it doesn't die before I get through this thing so first thing I got is this glam glow trial said this thing was free for my birthday, um, let's see, tissue paper, bitch, get out the way, no one cares, um, a sample, 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 more samples, ooh, ooh, gimme brow, yes, okay, hold on, so the, the things I actually bought, I probably got the gimme brow because I got the, um, 
what is this? The Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. Um, I needed a brow pencil, so I was just looking around and this one caught my eye because the packaging is super dope. I can get it out of the box. Look how fancy it is, you know? I'm like all about that shiz. Oh, there's paper. So, I had to get an eyebrow pencil. And I doubt any of you care, but I use shade 4.5. Then I got some eyelashes because again I just needed some eyelashes. That was actually the only thing that I actually that I went in there planning to buy. I got a Too Faced Melted in shade Twilight Zone, and I got the Clinique Even Better Foundation in shade Two Three. It's a uh, breeze. So the next place I went was J.C. Penney's because Sephora is in J.C. Penney's. And, let's see, I got a bra, because I needed a bra, and I got this candle. It's mold wine, or mule wine, I don't know how to pronounce it, but all of that smells freaking amazing. So, uh, and was, this was actually on sale, you know what I'm saying? This was originally $30, I think I got it for, yeah, I got it for $6. So the next place I went was the bookstore. We don't have Barnes and Nobles, but we got Books a Million. Um, and I had a whole bunch. I, I was went in there looking for a specific book. Uh, I ended up looking at some other books, but um, I actually ended up only getting these comic books because I was very intrigued by. Let's see, because they're all, and also they were all like a dollar up. Some were even cheaper than a dollar. Oh no. They were all a dollar. Never mind, I lied. <laughs> They're all a dollar. Um, so I got a couple different ones. I haven't heard of any of these. I just thought that they looked interesting. They're all volume ones, I believe. Yeah, one. This one doesn't say. That one's one, and this one's one. So I got this one. It's called Giant Days. Again, it just looked really interesting. I really like the art style of it. Uh, this one, I actually don't know what it's called. It has no title on it, so I'm not really sure. I just thought, like, again, I really like the art style. I thought it was really cute. Uh, if anybody knows what this is, uh, like, I have, I mean, I'm, I could just open it and find out. But before I do, if anybody knows, let me know in a comment. Uh, I got this one called Fence. And this one, actually, the guy at the checkout said that he read all 12 of them, and he really likes it. So I'm excited to read them. If I like it, I'll probably... Um, by the other ones too because I mean fuck they're a dollar and then I got the one called Dodge City which also again art style is super cute and fun I like the color scheme uh, and I thought that the title was intriguing so I bought it and the last place that I went of course of course first of all I haven't been to this store and I honestly can't remember when the last time I went in there was it had to be at least a year probably more than that I'm pretty sure last time I went was like over the summer. Maybe. Something of that, no. Last summer, I'm trying to think of like my timeline in my life. It was last summer, I believe, wait. I don't remember. It was a while ago, honestly, I don't really remember, but it's Hot Topic, what's really, that's what really matters. This bag is huge, but there's only two things in it, so don't get crazy here. But, ugh, dig into the abyss. Also, uh, I got, oh my god, I'm dropping stuff. I got hot cash, so let's, look at, they changed the style of the hot cash since I've been in there last, but whatever, it's fine. Um, so I got two things here. Their sale they were having was the t-shirts were $10, which is a good deal. That was the only thing they are having. Um, but I got another not t-shirt thing anyways. The t-shirt that I got, sell your soul. Economics for children. And I'm like, holy crap, this thing is huge. But I was like, yeah, same. I like this, um, I can't remember. There's like a name for this. What is this? I don't know what the... I've seen these all over. This, like, style of, like, the kids' book. But it's, like, demonic shit. Like, um, pyrokinesis and, like, shit like that. Um, so I thought... That, but this one just spoke to me, you know? Because I have no soul, so, yeah. And the other thing I got was this hoodie. Ooh. It has the the Krusty Krab logo on. Is this upside down? Oh, it's upside down. My bad. 
Ugh. The Krusty Krab logo on the breast region. Um, it says bikini bottom. And then on the back, it has the Krusty Krab on it. And it says, come spend your money. <laughs> Go spend your money here. And the reason I got this, honestly, is because the style of it made it feel like, um, you know, like when you're in like eighth grade and you went to like Daytona or like Virginia Beach or something and you got like those really tacky, like, like, um, like gift shop shirts and hoodies. That's what this reminded me of. And the fact that it's for the bikini bottom just makes me really happy. So I got it for that reason. I don't have any like tacky thrift stop, thrift stop, thrift store clothing so I thought that this would be amazing and like I'm totally on trend. Alright so yes that is everything that I got on Black Friday. Ow! Some may or may not be gifts. I'm not telling nobody. I ain't gonna spoil my shit. Um but realistically I don't have that many people to buy gifts for so it don't matter. Uh I did order some stuff online. Like I got some stuff from Forever 21 but we don't have a because we don't have a physical Forever 21 where I live so I had to order all, all online so obviously it ain't here yet because I got for freaking Black Friday. I do have two things though that I got that were from Forever 21 that I got already. The things that I got already is I got that um they had this little what's it called? Uh, favorites box. Originally it was $25 but they had it on sale for $10. I was already intrigued with it when they didn't have it on sale but since they didn't have it on sale I was like fuck it I'm gonna buy it. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six different things in it. Uh, I've already tried the mascara. Uh, I can't, it's Stila. I can't see what it says though but um, it's very nice. I haven't tried anything else yet though. I'll probably get a gift some of this stuff because I don't like, like the brush. I don't need the brush but um and I got this wrap shirt that I actually wore on Thanksgiving. It's hard to see what it looks like because it's all tangled and shit. Because it, it, it's a wrap shirt. But you get the idea. It's like black silky. Very sultry. I'm sorry if you can hear my cat meowing in the background. They're all little bitches. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then like it. That's what the like button is for. And also comment things because I need validation. If you like, you know, me, you can subscribe. That's also cool, you know. But yeah, I have to get ready for work, so I'll see you guys in the next one whenever that happens to be. Okay, bye.